I'm about to say something that is probably a little controversial. Black women today cannot find good black men because a lot of them self-sabotage their own relationships. Yeah, I said it. Is there any reason you don't want to have a baby? My tubes are tied. What? Yo, tubes tied. Did you know that her tubes were tied? So you got a uh, chastity belt on a mushu? So you did not know that her tubes were tied. So you thought that when you got married, y'all were going to be able to have a family. Okay. Admit you lied and apologize, and we'll see what we can work out. But if you don't, bitch, paperwork coming, because you was bogus for that. So I'm, I'm thinking that something's wrong with me, right? And I'm saving up money or whatever to try to get me together, whatever do stuff for you, right? And make our marriage whole? So how long have you had your tubes tied? 2018 after 18. I had another time. baby in November okay. that I decided not to keep. You told me that the baby died. She said the baby died with his umbilical cord wrapped around his neck. Oh, I was not that dramatic, Dr. Cal. <laughs> and I might hate you for the rest of my life for real because you knew. You knew. Why would you tell me the baby was dead, though? To be honest, I wanted him to be hurt. I wanted his feelings to be hurt. I just wanted him to feel something because I never feel like he feels anything. What y'all don't understand is the woman you're dealing with doesn't really like you that much because when someone likes you, they don't treat you like that because a woman who really likes you gonna do everything that you like and nothing that you don't. The woman who don't want you to leave her is looking for solutions. The woman who only kind of like you, she always trying to find a problem. Yo, girlfriend treats you like a stepchild. When someone likes you and you tell them to stop doing something, they stop. When someone likes you and you tell them you like a certain thing, you don't have to ask them repetitively to do it. Only someone who doesn't really like you is going to give you problems because she don't really like you. What up, gents? Welcome to TSG Uncut. I am your host, Sean C. When I was 24 years old, I was dating this beautiful 22-year-old black and Puerto Rican woman. She was about five. 5'10", perfect height for me, and she had an amazing body. We got along really well. The relationship seemed like it was perfect. Matter of fact, her dad loved me for her because I was an educated man that had a career. And despite how perfect that we could have been together, this woman could not get out of her own way. It seems like that she was always doing crazy things that could ruin our relationship. If your woman is going through like emotional stuff, it's probably because of you. Stop emotions is a you problem. That's nobody else. Only you feel your emotions. Other human beings don't feel your emotions. You can't blame someone else for making you feel a certain type of way. Man, this girl is so aggravating. She's always doing something. No! You serious right now? Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I got her drunk yesterday. Hey, hey, hey. She's drunk. <laughs> Baby, open your eyes or something. If you was to cheat on me, how would you do it? So I probably would, um, I'll probably wait till you go to the gym and then I'll probably just tell him to come over Bruh. and I'll throw the, I'll kind of throw the, um, Google in the bathroom and then make it dark so you just think that it's dark in the house. And then I would, um, yeah, just bring him here. I wouldn't bring him to bed though. That's a little disrespectful. I'll just bring him on the couch or something. Yeah. And then, yeah. You didn't even, you didn't even try to act like you wouldn't do it. Same you thing. just got straight to yapping. What? Now you kind of, you kind of making me believe that that's something that you will really do. Don't ask no questions. Why come the pastor have to have him a nice house? Huh? I want to leave. Oh, no. Oh, but I got to go right now. I'll be back to hold you down. Oh, my God. And I'm going to tell you niggas something. These demons look good, boy. They look good, boy. They go to the DR, they go down to Miami, Florida, they get their body done, they had them titties sitting up right, ass be fat, waist be little, Instagram followers be up, face be pretty, how be laid, motherfucking tax flyer be made, arms crossed, bitch getting money, and be a motherfucking demon. Now another problem that I had with this ex-girlfriend, that she was very selfish and it always seemed like she was thinking about herself. Where have we heard that before? She wasn't used to being with a man that had a career that was working to make his life better. When seeing how disciplined a career man can be, a lot of these women would rather be outside because they lack the discipline 
and the patience required to be with that type of man. And another truth that I had to learn was that a lot of young women have no clue what they really want. For me to feel like you my boyfriend, you gotta like kind of let me know that you willing to take care of me. Oh, you gotta spend some money. Well, it's not about spending money. You Stop just gotta like, I gotta feel like I got a man. You know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to work as hard as I do. I'm fucking exhausted. Whoop, whoop. Here I come. It's like if you see me as being your wife, then you're not gonna want me to work as hard. Oh, hell no. So, in yeah. translation, you gotta spend a check. It's mm. not like a check, it's... Oh, the check. Consistent, like... Oh, consistent Taking checks. care of me, like, it has to be like, oh, he wants to take care of me. Like, you ain't getting shit! That I would feel safe enough to call you that or give you that title and cut other men off. But if I'm still working as hard to make it all happen, then how am I ever gonna call somebody my man? This bitch is not all that, <laughs> and I'm mad. I have this term I use called bucket list dating, and there's a lot of women trying to bucket list date men right now. They'll try to go somewhere that they don't normally go themselves. It's it's a STK or a Mastro's or look at their Apple Pay wallet, and it's just raising canes and Chick Fil A. Like um, recently, I matched with a doctor on a dating app, and I was just like, you know, I said, you know, what do you do? He's like, I'm a doctor, and he was just like, I was like, okay, so what's your goals? He, and he was just like, oh no, I kind of blocked you because like, what do you mean? What's what's my goals? Is a doctor not enough? I don't want somebody who's content with where they are. A doctor is being being a doctor is amazing. I understand what you guys go through to get there, but why can't you want more? What? No, ask baby. your grandmama, your what? sister, ask any black woman who gotta stand and listen to your bullshit. I guess me having three jobs shows you that I'm never comfortable with being in one place. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up. There's no man that's gonna make me feel bad for leaving him to go to someone else's center. If the man is no good to you, I don't even know why you would make this video because they don't deserve an explanation. But if you got a man with good intentions, it just shows how delusional most women are. They think they got hella options when we all only got two. You got people with good intentions, you got people with bad intentions. So if you got somebody with good intentions, it don't get no better than that. The only way it could possibly be better is if this is not the person you really wanted. So you want to go leave for that person. And that's not a problem. The problem is you being there in the first place. A lot of y'all will blame everybody else for y'all own shit y'all can't get the man y'all want because y'all busy with the man y'all don't and all of the women who do want those men they can't get them because y'all in the fucking way i was in this relationship i had i had got divorced and i think i was about a year out of my divorce and i finally was like okay i'll try to date and i met this guy and he was really really nice what's wrong with that so i was like this is weird the ball i'm waiting for the ball to drop here something's very suspicious like i didn't trust it right but he was very doting very loyal very committed and very mature and i remember i had a tissy fit i was sabotaging um i was creating chaos waiting for him to be aggressive towards me because that's what i was used to so i almost like pushed the buttons mm -hmm. to see if i could trigger him to do something to me to prove my theory to be right like all men are like this and there it is and he did nothing what he did was he sat down and he watched me in my hysteria and i had put on the show not even realizing that he had checked out from the show and i look and he's just sitting there and i said well, what are you doing and he's like i'm just waiting for you to finish like you get to be ridiculous all by yourself i was so used to people participating in that mm -hmm. <laughs> that he made me see myself, and I was so embarrassed. I've been on both sides. I've been in the streets, and now I consider myself to be a decent dude. And I know how women treated me when I was in the street versus how women treat me now. The majority of women in this world do not want to date, marry, or get to know a decent man. The majority of women in this world are so backwards. What they want is a build a burn situation. Because if a dude come already stable, ready to lead, and be everything that you've been praying for, you're the first thought is, why me? The next thought is, it's too good to be true. So what it is, you would rather a man come with all the red flags that you would rather ignore. You know why? Because you want to be a man's mama. You want that man to feel like he needs you. And there's no other option out here that will treat him better than you. Sometimes when women are faced with these type of situations, they will try to test that man and or she will subconsciously do things that could potentially break up the relationship. Some of these women have never known what it's like to be with a good man or they don't believe that they're worthy of it. But what we're seeing with modern women today is that they have substituted love with the selling out of their own souls. And I always like to say, 
if it's not you, there's no reason to get mad, right? Right. I say women want men that they can control. So I want you to lead, but I want you to lead the way I want you to lead. That's not letting him lead. If I say I want this Birkin bag, you a provider, go get it. And he say, I am a provider and we can't afford that Birkin bag. Now he ain't a real man. All the women say they want something that they're not really preparing to get. You're not really prepared for it. Like I said, you're not gonna hit me though. You're not gonna hit me though. You ain't gonna hit me though. You ain't gonna hit me though. Is you? Is you? I'm calling my daddy right now. You, you think it's ever, it's ever justifiable for a man to hit a female? Is it? We all been there. Is it justifiable for yeah. a man to hit a woman? I can't speak for men, but I can speak for myself. You disrespect me, Lord Jesus. Look out, Bruh. They say when a woman's fed up, right? Well, men get tired too. Men get tired of not being appreciated, disrespected, emasculated, talked to any kind of way. Men get tired too. This man get up and go to work and do whatever he got to do to provide for you in this household and can't get a thank you. You talk to him any kind of way. You tear this man down with your words. Instead of building him up, you tear him down. Sometimes the man, have to, he got to sit in the car for a few minutes before he come in and deal with you. Men get tired too. Yeah, everybody like to say when a woman's fed up, you know, men get fed up too. So understand, when a man gets tired of your shit, and he walks away, that shit ain't no coming back. Do you ladies feel women are ready for emotionally intelligent men? We're talking about you wanting a man who is tolerant, who regulates his emotions, who also knows how to manage your emotions. But you're also talking about a man who knows how to navigate his sensitivities. You have to consider that an emotionally intelligent man is good at cutting people off when he sees that your sensitivities bring too much reactivity. When he sees that you cannot regulate your emotions. When he sees that you have a low tolerance. This type of man that you are asking for is a man who will walk you out the door in a heartbeat. If he feels like you are disrupting his peace. Damn. If he feels like okay. there's any level of disrespect, there's a lot that comes with emotional intelligence. Yes. So if you ask him for that, you gotta come with the same level of emotional intelligence. You're not always gonna be accepted. Sometimes he's gonna bounce back and sometimes he's gonna say, I don't agree with your opinion. Sometimes he's gonna say, I don't like those thoughts. Sometimes he's gonna say, I don't like the way you speak to me. If you're not ready for that, don't be asking for an intelligent man. Amen, praise the Lord. Now, with talking to that ex, one of the things that I learned was that she was on a bunch of medications. She had a bunch of depression issues. And what we're seeing with modern women today is a lot of them are going through the same type of things. A lot of them have so much trauma and unresolved issues that you may not find out until it's too late. And as a young man, you are not prepared to deal with that. Hell, I had my own issues going on. And because women are such emotional creatures and a lot of decisions they make are based on their emotions, they are ill-prepared in a lot of situations to be able to make proper judgments on relationships. Modern women are missing out on seemingly good men for a lack of accountability and true reflection of themselves. I don't believe in unconditional love. You can't just love someone no matter what they do. I mean, damn, they, <laughs> there have to be conditions, right? Of course, no one should allow anyone to treat them badly or accept abuse of any kind, but that's not what unconditional love is about. It's about having empathy while erasing judgments. No strings attached. It's selfless. It's reciprocal and real. It's not a myth. Based on what you just shared with me about your upbringing, it sounds like something that you didn't receive as a child. I mean, your mother didn't choose you when it came to your stepfather. Your father chose addiction over you, at least in your eyes. Has anyone ever said to you, I love you, I'm here for you, and I'm not leaving no matter what? No, no one. Maybe that's why you don't believe it exists. Because for you, it never has. A lot of quote unquote good men and good women ain't as good as they think they are. Pe people love to hide behind the label of good and overlook the real flaws that exist or the issues that they need to resolve in that relationship. When we say good women or women grow to like good men, a lot of them learn how to tolerate good men. And what I mean by that is the reality is like for a lot of quote unquote good men, what they're lacking is, lacking is masculine energy. They're this too nice, they don't understand, they have no backbone, they have no vision, they have no plan, they don't know how to stand on their own two damn feet. They hide behind good, but it's like, okay, in time, she learns to accept the good guy because the more masculine guy may come with other issues. Another reason why they can't handle the good when it actually is good is because people deep inside don't feel like they're worthy of it, yep. or they are accustomed to it because they're used to dysfunction. Get in there! Eat the cake! 
I heard this woman say, I will never allow anybody to be sweeter to my man than me. And if this is a man that I wanna be with and I wanna spend the rest of my life with, if I've gotta put together 50 words to soften that blow, then just wildly reacting to it because I'm just mad in this moment, I will do that a hundred times over because he's worth it to me. I don't want to be his enemy. I don't want to be a disruptor of his mindset or his peace of mind. I want to handle him with care because he means that much to me. If you expect a good man to protect and provide for you, be prepared to be a peaceful partner. Otherwise, you're going to fumble that man because a leader is not going to stay with a woman who is refusing to listen. Bruh. <laughs> not chance. When I tell you it ended badly with this young lady, it ended pretty badly. She ended up cheating on me while I was out to sea. And to top it off, she was pregnant by another dude that she had had a one night stand with. The problem with a bunch of my past relationships is that a lot of it was on me. You say, wait a minute, Sean, if you was doing what you were supposed to do, how could this be on you? I'm man enough to say it's because I'm the one who chose women who were selfish and childish. I chose women who were broken, women who practice self-sabotage. I chose women who weren't on my level. I'm the one who chose women who put what I can do for them over what they could do for me that would benefit both of us. Women who didn't understand their role in helping me to achieve my goals and purpose. What real men want are not what these modern women are ready for. Here's the thing about settling, ladies. You have to realize men have been settling. Bruh. If you think you are the woman of his, his dreams, you are sorely mistaken. Men will marry the woman that is good enough if she is unproblematic and useful to him. All the other stuff that you think you're exceptional at somebody else can do so please believe you are not the one settling here and over the course of the lifetime because we naturally slow down as women because men are built for the long haul they will carry the burden so they're doing that for somebody that is not their first choice i mean we need more men to stand up and and lead the way mm -hmm. most women are trying to be the leader mm -hmm. that's why you can't find a man Bruh. you can't be the king in the house <laughs> fall back and be the queen and let your man lead lead the way what should a woman bring to a relationship she should bring support she should bring stability she should bring love you know what I'm saying respect her man you know what I'm saying and she can get it whatever she wants a man is real simple a, a man will give a woman everything in the world if she act like she got some sense black women don't know their role other races understand what their role is black women are difficult this is true guaranteed if you ask a so-called black woman what her role is in a relationship she's going to be confounded the majority of black women will be confounded they will not have an answer and if they do answer their answer usually is going to lead on the grounds of running the show being a leader taking control controlling a man her answer will never be a help me Bruh. why do men stay when they're unhappy, right? Women in relationship for happiness. Men are not. Men in relationship could diss mine. She didn't understand what I was saying when I was saying this mine. Like, this my person. So whatever come with this, come with this. That's just like a friend, a real true friend. Like, bro, whatever, you wrong, you right. You right, you wrong, we gonna fix it. My mama, I can't unlove my mama, I can't unlove my dad, I don't give a f what they did. So when you got that type of love from a female, it's the same thing. How the f can I trust you if I ain't never took you through that? You think you finna be my bride or die, I don't know you'll stay down. And you ain't, if I you hurt your feelings, you. you. you I ain't, ain't took you through nothing. Ain't been broke. I ain't been in jail. I ain't been nothing. Because when a man is vetting you, he's not only thinking about the moment. He's thinking, can I live with this? for the next five years, 10 years, 20 years. And if you're difficult, um, Brandon L. Jett, one of the founding fathers of the finishing school said, Maggie, you've got to teach these women how to communicate. It is so difficult to communicate with modern women. Did you enjoy today's video? Then you're going to want to watch this video right here as it's going to keep the conversation going. And I can promise you, you're going to love it.